Planetary Calendar's weekly forecast for the week of October 19th, 2020. I am Ralph Demetrius, one of the astrologers. And after the tumultuous week last week and the one we have coming up next week, this is a chance to glide a little bit, which is nice. It's a very quiet week, generally speaking. On the Monday, there's a nice trine going on between Venus and Jupiter. So this is going to be one of those low-stress Mondays. In fact, given a chance to be charming that Monday or kind or generous, do it because it'll come back to you in really good ways with Venus trine Jupiter. Because remember, this is Venus in Virgo trine Jupiter in Capricorn. So people will notice and feel maybe obligated to return that nice favor. Okay. Now on the same day, admittedly, there is Mercury opposite Uranus. So there might be issues with technology. If there are, it might, it might come from the Sunday, the Monday, and the Tuesday because it's Mercury and Uranus. Chill. It's just, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a bit of a challenge. Chill. Just relax. It's going to resolve itself. On the Tuesday, there's a nice sun sextile moon. Very gentle. By that point, the, the moon has moved into um, late at night. The moon moves into Capricorn. Uh, but it's during the day that you get that nice um, your nice sex style. And then on the Wednesday are the or Orionid m meteor showers. So make sure you go out there and see them. This is actually one of my favorites, probably because I like the name or Oriana. There is a nice Venus trine Pluto. Now that's a little less obvious than like the Venus trine Jupiter. That's right out there. Is Venus trine Pluto? Pluto might be a day in which you kind of indulge your secret pleasures, okay? Whatever they would be. You don't have to talk about that, but you can indulge them. On the Thursday, this is the most consequential day of the week because the sun enters Scorpio at 3.59 p.m. Western time on the 22nd. There's also a whole bunch of nice aspects going on to the moon on that day. The moon's in Capricorn. Venus, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, and Pluto are making nice aspects to the moon. So it's a great day for exchanges, for um, engaging with other people. That's the thing. When the moon's making great aspects, it's a great day for interpersonal relationships. When it's making difficult aspects, you know, that's below the number, those are the days in which personal, interpersonal stuff takes some work, you know, and it usually means work. But when they're above, it means smooth sailing with anything to do with emotions and relations and getting going around and taking care of errands. But really, it's the sun going into Scorpio. That first degree of, of the sign, the last degree of the sign are real powerful. The thing about Scorpio, it is about sharing power. A tremendous number of politicians have Scorpio in their chart, prominent in their chart. It's about the collective use of power in partnerships primarily. It's the, remember, it's the sign opposite Taurus. Taurus is the sign of this is mine. I own. Scorpio is we own. Okay, Different from Aquarius, which is the collective good. This is, you know, the signed partnership. Kind of when a couple signs on the dotted line and then they own a house together. And they have to balance between the needs of each person. On the Friday is the first quarter of the moon. And that's the only major aspect that day except to the moon. But the moon is square the sun. Uh, the sun is in Aquarius all day. Now, the Aquarius moon is a very social moon, but it's not a very personal moon. Um, and you may have a hard time getting people to really kind of pay attention. This is not the day to have those intimate conversations. Okay? Moon in Aquarius doesn't do intimate conversations. It does broadcasting. It will send you a great friendly email, but it doesn't do, you know, the heart-to-heart -heart stuff, okay? So, and even though it's Friday, which is usually, usually Venus's day, no. Maybe go to the movies, something like that. That's good. Okay, on the Saturday, um, Mars and Saturn are both making good aspects to the moon. <laughs> Getting a good aspect from Mars and Saturn is kind of a mixed blessing. Um, but the most important thing is there's that very good trine between Saturn and Venus. Now, normally we think of any kind of aspect of Saturn as being difficult, but Venus and Saturn have a very close relationship. Remember that Saturn is exalted in Libra, 
on the ruling signs of Venus. It's because Saturn is the rule maker. Libra wants everything to be fair. So this is a very good day on the Saturday to, you know, make sure you're doing projects together that are are um, equitable. If you have to have a talk with someone about this kind of issue, are we all kind of keeping up our part? Good day to do it. A good day for cooperative ventures. Um, also a great day for decorating because you actually will have a very strong sense of um, grace and um, uh, balance. Now, the fact that it's in... Um, you know, once again, it's, it's, you know, talking earth signs once again. And what part of that's Virgo, maybe you'll get people actually to help move some of the stuff around. You know, it would be nice and actually take care of getting those fine things in place. Okay. They said very easy week. This is a nice week. Lots of trines all week long. This is what we not. Last week was wacky. Next week's a little wacky. We could use a break, right? We could use a nice week to coast. And then on the Sunday, even nicer. The Mercury is making a nice aspect to the moon. The moon goes into Pisces at 2.15 p.m., which is great. means basically at that point the wine should come out, okay, or the beer or the tequila in the afternoon, okay? Get stuff done in the morning. But in the afternoon, definitely cocktails should be served. There's also a sun trine moon. Lonnie knows I would like to make all these sun trine moon days white circles. He won't let me, though. And there is a sun conjunct Mercury, which is fantastic for conversation. People may blurt things out now and then, but at least they'll tell you the truth, which is cool. There's no negative aspects that day. No numbers below the, below the, there's no plants below the number. There's nothing below the line. So it's a very, very positive day. At least it's a nice day to coast. The whole week is like that. Take advantage of it. You know, don't, don't start any difficult projects this week you know take a breath so that's it come back and see us next friday for um, the upcoming forecast come and see us on tuesdays for our astro portraits remember they are educational every time you watch one you will learn something about astrology uh, come visit us at planetarycalendar.com because you know you need to get your 2021 calendar after all because you want to know what's going on and you can also visit spaceandtime.com for a whole a variety of books be well and enjoy the week mm -hmm.